Hi everyone, my name is Josh. Today I'll be presenting our team's work on billing and scale pre-training with vision transformers for multitask visual representations. In the research literature, large-scale pre-training is a well-known method for increasing the quality of a visual representation for a given set of benchmark tasks. However, the benefits of these techniques at extreme scale in complex production systems has been relatively unexplored. In this work, we consider the case of Pinterest, a popular visual discovery product, where these representations are trained with multitask learning, from use case specific visual understanding to general representation learning for all of the product's visual content. This unified visual embedding powers dozens of production use cases. In this work, we develop a novel pre-training approach and demonstrate the benefits of this approach for web scale applications. The primary measure of the unified visual embedding performance is the quality of the retrieved results in Pinterest's visual shopping products. An example of one of these visual shopping products, known as the Shop tab in Lens Camera Search, is shown here. In this work, we develop a novel data set construction method that results in a new large scale data set known as Annotation 1.3 billion. This data set is two orders of magnitude larger than the standard ImageNet 21K data set and offers unique advantages for the unified visual embedding. We believe this method will be of interest to other researchers in the development of large scale data sets. Our label generation process is based on a set of heterogeneous text signals and yields a compact label space for classification based pre training. We leverage high confidence predicted keywords for each image and propose two key improvements to the baseline label generation process. First, we restrict keywords to those present in the visual dictionary. The visual dictionary is defined to consist of those terms with a high visual concreteness score. In addition, this visual concreteness score is determined in a fully algorithmic fashion and is discussed in further detail in the paper. This enables us to reduce the occurrence of abstract and visually ambiguous terms in the taxonomy. Second, we cluster semantically related annotations to reduce the size of the label space. We adopt this strategy due to the challenges of extreme classification with regards to label completeness and computational requirements. In particular, we organize terms according to their predicted top level interests and cluster within each of these interests in order to address polysemy in the label space. For example, this enables us to distinguish the Jaguar brand of cars from the Jaguar type of animals in the label generation process. For our proposed model, we leverage a purely transformer-based architecture, namely VIT-base, and compared to a CNN-based architecture known as ResNex 101. In our case, the MLP head is replaced by the specific multitask embedding module described in our prior work. During pre-training, we leverage a multi-label cross-entropy loss, where the targets are scaled by the number of positive labels. We observed that this method outperformed the conventional usage of sigmoid activations and binary cross-entropy loss. We perform an evaluation of precision at one on our offline eval set and conduct a series of end-to-end -end evaluations to assess the real-world effectiveness of our method. In particular, we ask in-house labelers to assess the attribute match quality of the query product and the retrieved products. In addition, we study the online improvements to user engagement volume and propensity in the primary visual shopping product. We find that our new pre-training methodology outperforms the ImageNet and billion scale Instagram-based pre-training when using the CNN-based model architecture. Furthermore, we obtain even stronger gains from pre-training by leveraging the vision transformer model architecture. We also see that the retrieval performance improves as the pre-training data set size is increased. While the CNN-based architecture has an advantage over VIT at the scale of 13 million images, this VIT-based model outperforms the CNN-based model as the data set size is increased. In the end-to-end -end evaluation, we find that our proposed method yields a 38% improvement in the extremely similar at one level of relevance as compared to the production model. Furthermore, we find that these gains translate to the online system where the user click-through volume is increased by 23%. In the figure on the right, we visualize an example of the retrieved results for each model in the online system. We find that pre-training on our annotations 1.3 billion dataset yields strong transfer performance on benchmark computer vision tasks, such as ImageNet and ObjectNet. Furthermore, the same relationship between dataset size and transfer performance is demonstrated on the classic ImageNet benchmark task. In future work, we hope to explore multitask pre-training approaches that integrate weekly supervised and self-supervised paradigms. In addition, we would like to explore further scaling of the vision transformer architecture to better understand the performance of billion parameter models in real world systems. Thank you for your attention to our talk today.